Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. To make this frock, I just took a 2 meters of this uh, lovely black color satin fabric and organza fabric. Organza fabric has a very good flow. If you're trying to make a frock, uh, you can go ahead with either Georgette or the best is going to be organza fabric which has a very good flow. And today I'm going to make a sweetheart neckline with a boat neck. So to go with that, I just took a gold color fabric like this. And also for the belt and for the uh, back bow, I took a plain gold fabric so that it would irritate her. Uh, let me show you the pattern what I'm going to make and the important measurements that you need exactly to make this lovely frock. The frock is going to be like this. So the frock is divided into two. One is the body section and another one is going to be the skirt section. And also you have a golden color belt over this point. So this is going to be a sweetheart neckline and this fabric is going to be the golden fabric. For the down part, I'm going to give a pico with a golden color thread. And to the back side, you are going to be a golden color fabric till this. And from here, it's going to have a black color fabric. And again, it's going to be divided into two parts, skirt and the bodice. So the extra measurements that you're going to take is from the shoulder till your upper waist and till, from the upper waist till your ankle length or knee length till where you want the frock to be and the circumference of your waist so these are the very three important measurements that i'm going to work on today so to make this a lovely frock so let's get started first i'll tell you how to fold the fabric so just like that you're going to fold the fabric in half in the length wise so take the folded edge towards your side and you're going to match this on the opposite side of you like this. So once the fabric is folded like this, I'm just going to pin that so that uh, the fabric won't move from its position. tip I'm going to take a 8 inches down okay so just placing the tape from the pointy tip over here I'm going to mark that 8 inches okay so just mark the 8 inches all around okay like this from the pointy tip mark the upper body waist which is going to be 8 inches so just placing the tape at the exact center over here I'm going to mark the 25 inches which is going to be the length of my frock place the tape over here just hold it with a finger and you're going to mark the same to the down like this so this is a very simple and easy method of making the skirt I want everyone to give a try over this Always work on with a very sharp scissors when you are working with a satin fabric like this. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the down part. Okay, let me pin that in place a little bit. My skirt part is ready so same like that I'm going to fold my organza fabric and I'm going to lay this on top okay for this leftover fabric I'd be cutting my bodice take your organza fabric just fold the organza fabric in the same way so now I have folded the organza fabric like this and I and I'd be pinning that in place it is a really tough time to handle this organza fabric it just stand like that it won't just fold in a place now I have placed my satin fabric exactly same as my satin fabric I'm just cutting my organza fabric satin fabric now I'm going to cut the borders so fold the fabric in half like this Okay. So I'm just folding in half with the leftover fabric like this. Okay. Just pin that in place like this. 
I'm going to start marking from the shoulder 5.3 inches from the top and uh, so from the armhole I'm going to mark 6 inches upper body is going to measure 8 inches from here okay, give that marking mark that my armhole to mark a boat neck so when you're making a boat neck shoulder have to reduce by a one inch so normal measurement of the shoulder is going to have a 2.5 inches so when I'm making a boat neck I'm going to take my shoulder to two inch just by reducing in size the more the shoulder thins the more it looks really beautiful in boat neck line the top the full bodice measurement is going to be uh, 8.5 inches okay so actual measurement is 8 inches I'm just going to add half an inch to that for the seam allowance so it's going to measure 8.5 from the top so the upper waist measurement is going to be 7.5 so give a mark to that the top I'm just going to mark a 2 inches okay so just place your tape and mark two inches from the top it's going to go like a boat okay. so which is going to be a really closed neckline that's called as a boat neckline so the Sweda neckline is totally depends upon you how much fabric you need over this point is going to be your speed at neckline measurement so I want the golden fabric to be visible uh, at least a maximum of 1.5 inch from the top that's more than enough I think okay I don't want more depth in that because that's going to be a really a transparent fabric okay so from here it's going to have a nice neat shape and it's going to join towards down Anyhow, while attaching the interfacing, it's just going to lose a, a marginal amount of fabric again from here. So this is more than enough. So just cut this out and I'm going to trace this pattern on my gold color fabric and I'm going to get one out of this. This is going to be the front side and at the back side you're going to have a nice and neat U like this and you'd be having an opening over this point. Okay, so take your canvas like this, fold the canvas in half like this, place my uh, sweet art neckline on top of this, touching the folded edge. Okay. So this is going to be the folded edge of the canvas matching to the fabric and you're going to draw the exact same on your canvas like this okay just take that out and you're going to leave a marginal amount of canvas for folding So if you want a more detail about this interfacing canvas, please check my previous video. I'm going to cut out the upper part of my sweet and neckline. So I just folded that in half and I'm just placing on top of the folded edge of a golden uh, neck fabric. Okay, and just pin that in place like this. Okay. Again, to join this piece to the sweet and neckline, you need a really a marginal amount of fabric over here. Just leave a one inch of fabric and you cut the same. Like this. So take your back part, fold that in half, same like that. And place on the golden color fabric. So 
on top of the organza fabric and make a front and the back piece out of that so first I'm going to add this interfacing to my both the front and the back piece so now I'm just joining the outer edge of the canvas to the fabric so if this is the first time you're using the canvas, please do check the description box. I have a video related to this canvas. Please do check with that. So at the down part, I'm going to attach my back side of the canvas, leaving a marginal amount of fabric. now I'm going to cut at the exact margin on the top part of the canvas And to the down part, you're going to leave a margin amount for folding the canvas. the organza fabric lay that and top of that I'm going to lay my uh, uh, satin fabric so so both the wrong sides should face up okay. like that you're going to lay and make sure you take the basting stretch and put a straight stretch over this way. And also matching the sweetheart neckline, you're going to put a basting stretch all around. Okay. Basting stretch is going to be the big stretch in your machine. So make sure you put that all around so that once it's done, you can remove that. So after putting the basting stretch, take your sweetheart neckline, make sure that the free side of the fabric and wrong side of the canvas matches like this. So just match the center point of the canvas and the fabric and pin that in place. Okay. And you're going to match the neckline like this and you're going to sew that together. A nice and neat shape give some notches to the canvas and the fabric like this and you're going to turn this out
just turn this in nice and neat like this and pin that in place to get the shape okay so give a nice and neat shape and pin that in place This is a very good festival where I want everyone to try this because it would be very simple and easy to make and also it just gives a very grand look. Once it's been secured like this, I'm going to take my golden color transparent fabric and this is going to be the pattern what we cut before. Just like that I'm going to lay it on the top like this and uh, I'm going to place this fabric on top like this just to get the exact measurement where I have to lay this To sew to the ne one side, you're going to sew to the next side. Okay, so now my front neck is ready. Just like going to remove the pin, and you can see. I got a very beautiful neckline like this so same like this I'm going to prepare the back side same like that first you're going to put a basting stretch and secure that I'm going to repeat the same process to my back neckline also So now I'm going to give a teardrop shape to the back side of the golden fabric. So I'm just folding the fabric in half like this and from here I'm going to make a, a nice teardrop shape over here. this cross cut to the to the teardrop and I'm going to turn that in and also I'm going to finish off the neckline with this golden color fabric and take your bias tape like this and fold it once and you're going to place it underneath to the pre side this is going to be the pre side of the fabric place it underneath to the pre side and sew that together
once you done by sewing this just give the snips all around okay okay now I'm going to turn this in take your pretty side now and turn this bias tape inside that's a cross cut inside the fabric and you're going to put a top stretch going to uh, attach a bias tape to this and finish off the neckline for the front and the back piece. Then by attaching I'm going to cut in the center okay, to make it into two individual pieces. Okay, So take your front side and fold the entire piece in and you're going to sew that. It looks really beautiful and stunning when I add the button over here and it's going to fix it like this once it's done I'm just going to place this back piece on top of this and I'm going to finish it off like this so this is the front neckline and this is the back neckline okay now take your skirt part okay and fold the waist part of the skirt into half and center notch the skirt and you're going to match both the center notches okay. so lay the pretty side of the satin fabric on top of your organza fabric like that matching the center point of both okay and you're going to sew that together So now take your bodice fabric and fold that in half like this okay and and the center notch the center point of your bodice place your skirt part like this and uh, this is going to be the center point of the skirt okay just place it firm like this and take your bodice fabric and this is going to be the center point of the bodice okay and place the border center point over here like this and pin that in place taking a quarter inch of seam elements i'm going to sew both like this
when I open that you can see now the skirt has been attached to the bodice nice and beautiful like this now I'm going to make a belt for that so to make the belt I just took a nine and a half inch uh, height fabric and a length of uh, 21 inches to the wrong side I'm going to single fold the fabric to put a straight stretch just fold and make some pleats like this okay so this is going to be my first pleat and this is my uh, second pleat and this is my third pleat so I'm going to make a three beautiful pleats like this and sew it at the end point of this to fold it on the exact same way and I'm going to sew this on top okay just by forming that in place same like that just fold it like this okay. and I'm putting a basting stretch on this point I'm not putting a normal stretch because I'm going to remove this just fold this fabric very marginally like this so first secure the folding just by putting one stretch on top of that okay. and take the needle and put one bead in this Just add one bead to this and lock the bead. Okay. So I'm going to go for the next basting stretch. That same like this and insert the needle. And same like that. First secure the fold with one stretch and then you're going to attach the bead to that. So take one bead, add one bead to this and secure the bead like this. Okay. Now I'm just moving on to my third bead. Just remove the basting stretch and fold it like this. Let's sew it to the down part. So same like this, I'm going to finish off with all my uh, pleats like this, okay? And so once it's done, I'll be attaching this belt part to my front part of the frock. Now this is going to be my front part and I have already stretched with a golden color thread. So show you the bodice and the skirt. So this is going to be the bodice fabric and this is going to be the skirt fabric. So this is going to come at the exactly in between both like this okay not too high not too low hopefully it be coming like this so uh, just going to single fold this and I'm going to sew it on top Now I'm going to cut out the excess fabric over here. So fold the bottom piece in and sew that together. 
is going to be exclusive party wear and also festival wear a really good festival wear so for sure I want everyone to give a try over this my belt part is attached to the fabric like this and you can see how beautiful it is so now I'm going to make the back tag Let's take a five to six inch in width fabric and the length is absolutely depends upon you I'm going to just fold the fabric in half and just sewing that in a quarter inch of seam allowance So when I get into the end point, I'm going to make it like an angle like this and turn the fabric. Now take a pen or something pointy like this and take a little bit of fabric and insert into your pen like this. Okay. And you're going to push the fabric in. Okay. Take out to the other side like this. Take this out. Make sure you take the pin out. So even you put a top stretch, you have to press that in firm. it off so now I'll be doing the same to the next side and I'll be attaching this piece to the to my frock now I'm going to attach my back tag to the frock make sure that the pointy edge the angle point stay inside the frock and you're going to attach this uh, unsalvaged edge matching the unsalvaged edge of your frock Just place the front and the back side pretty sides together and you're going to finish off the shoulder. The sleeves if you want you can make a sleeves to this or else uh, I'm going to attach a cross piece to finish off the sleeve it's going to be a sleeveless frock so just fold the bias tape in half and I'm going to attach that to my sleeves Now I'm going to finish off the dress just by matching both the pre sides that's the front and the back pre sides joining together and I'm going to start from the armhole and I'm going to go all the way down just make sure you tuck in the back tag and finish off this dress.
so this is going to be the end result of the dress and i love it it just came out really beautiful and if you like this video and if you want more videos like this please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up bye bye